just got back from the Morphe store and I got some palettes. I got this one. Also got the mini jawbreaker, but today's video is only going to be on this palette because I will have a separate video up on the mini jawbreaker probably tomorrow. I'll try to get that up as fast as I can, but today we're going to be using the large jawbreaker palette and I'm going to open this, show you what it looks like. I'm going to keep this intro very short and sweet and not bore you with too much stuff. So here's what the palette looks like. I love how sleek this is. I really, really don't like bulky palettes, so this is just, it's such a step in the right direction for me when it comes to Jeffree Star and I hope that he keeps this packaging because it's so much easier to just, you know, handle and store and do everything with. So here's what the inside looks like. It's stunning. It is so beautiful. I don't think that you will be able to accurately see the colors in this because they are so much more vibrant in real life than what they look like in a viewfinder for me, but they are, they're so nice. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch this palette now. If you wanna know more information about the palette, I will leave the link to the website down below because I don't really go into a lot of details about the palettes that I buy. If you wanna know like ingredients and all that stuff, just go check out the site because it will all be there and it will be a lot easier than me having to explain all of that because that would take forever. And I'm sure you are all just wanting to see how this palette performs, so that is what I'm going to be doing. So let's go ahead and swatch this. I'm gonna swatch this from left to right, top to bottom, like I always do. So I want to say for the swatches, it basically swatched like the other two Jeffree Star palettes that I have. I only have two. I have the Blue Blood and Alien, and this felt like exactly the same formula, so I mean hopefully it is. I'm so excited to dig into this. I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre, and then we can get into doing a look with this. Alright, so my eyes are primed. We're going to go ahead and get into this palette now. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to fit 24 shadows on my eyes today, so I am going to do a 10 looks one palette with this, just like I did with Blue Blood. If you haven't seen that video, I will link that in the corner for you so you can go check that out, but I'm so excited. I mean, there are just endless possibilities with this palette, and there's just so many things I can do, and you're never going to run out of ideas when you have such a big palette with such a variety of shadows, so I'm going to think about this for a little bit, and then we can get into doing a fun eye look with this. So I think where I want to start is I'm going to go ahead and take WOW and put that into my inner part of my crease, which is the yellow. And I really want to test out this yellow because it's hard to find a good yellow and I feel like Jeffree Star, if any brand is going to come out with a really good like rainbow yellow, it's going to be Jeffree Star. So I'm going to first just tuck this into the first third of my crease or so. And I'll probably end up doing like a three colored crease because I just, there's so many shadows in here that I just can't help myself. I want as many of these on my eyes as humanly possible. So that's what we're going to do. So. So far it's laying down really nicely. I'm using a very small dense brush to just place this color where I want it. I'm not gonna be doing a cut crease or anything like that in this look because I don't like doing cut creases in my first impressions. I know I've said that many times and I keep repeating myself, but if you're new here, I just like to see how shadows perform on their own first because I don't like doing cut creases every time I do an eye look and I feel like you shouldn't have to, you know? Like sometimes you just wanna do a colorful look that don't take forever. So I just wanna see how some of these shimmers perform and how opaque they are, if they're going to layer nicely over the mattes and so on. So, so far that yellow is laying down beautifully. I think I'm next gonna go into, which shadow did I wanna use? I think I'm gonna take, Okay, so I just realized the name of the shadow is Fuck, so I'm sorry, I don't know if I should bleep that out or if I should leave that in. Am I going to get demonetized every time I say the name of the shadow? I hope not. So I'm gonna go in with Fuck, which is a very, very beautiful kind of corally pink. And I'm going to use the same brush and just place this in the middle of my crease, just meeting it up with that yellow. the outer part of my crease I'm gonna go into soaked which is this beautiful kind of primary blue color it is stunning still just going to use that same brush here and just place that on the outer third or so also blending it into that coral shape I do feel like this blue is showing up a little bit darker on the eye than it is in a pan but that's not really a bad thing it's just more of a observation I feel like maybe if you go in with a bit of a lighter base this color would look lighter but on top of my MAC paint pot it's definitely pulling a bit darker than it is in the pan 
And I was going to go in with the darker blue to deepen this up with, but I don't really think I'm going to have to do that anymore because this is pretty dark the way it is. So I'm just going to pack this all the way in my outer corner here. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this in just a little bit in my crease here. So far I'm finding all of these shadows to be pretty easy to work with. They're laying down very nicely and they seem to be very buildable, which is nice. Obviously I haven't really tried to do a whole lot of blending and stuff, but so far just from my first impression I'm not having any issues with this whatsoever. I think I'm also going to go ahead and take this down to my lower lash line. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but I guess I'll do that and then I'll probably go in with uh, one of the greens possibly, or maybe like one of the uh, kind of pastel -y blues or something like that. So I do want to try out as many of these shadows as I can, <laughs> but I also feel like this is what everyone is going to be doing because this is like such a rainbow look and I try my best most of the time to not do what I feel like everyone else is going to be doing, but I guess I kind of fell for it today because I'm just so inspired by this palette, you know, I just want to put all of the shadows on my eyes at the same time and that's kind of what happens. So maybe I can do something fun on the lid instead to try to kind of make this a little bit different. So I'm not pulling the shadow all the way in, I'm just going to keep it to like the outer third or so. And this is my Morphe E36 brush if you were wondering. I think this brush is really good if you want to put a lot of shadows on your eyes and be able to be precise but still be able to blend. It's a great brush for that. So I think for the rest of my lower lash line, I'm actually going to dip into Cute, which is this, how would I explain this? It's almost like an aqua, pastel aqua. The shadow definitely has a little bit of kick up. So I'm going to go ahead and place that in the inner half of my lower lash line here. And since this is a pastel shade, it would probably perform better on top of a some kind of an eyeshadow primer, but I didn't want to do that in my first impression, so we're just going to pack this on and see how it does. And so far for being a pastel, it's actually adhering to my eye very well, so it might not even need any kind of eyeshadow primer, which is awesome. And actually, that looks really pretty. I like this a lot. Okay, so here's the problem. Now I need to do something that's not going to mess up this look, so let's see, what should I do? Should I just play this safe, kind of? Should I just go in with Bite Me, which is the kind of dark purpley shimmer? I feel like that's what I should do. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna put that on the outer third or so of my lid. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this with some Fix Plus because I always spray my shimmer, so I feel like that's just how I should be testing these out. So like I said, I'm gonna be placing that in the outer corner here, basically just kind of layering it above that blue and so that they blend in together. I'm not going to make any harsh lines. I want everything to be kind of blended into each other. So I am taking it quite high up and just kind of packing it into my crease as well. And then I want to go into some lighter shades here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take Snack for the rest of my lid. Is that what I wanna do? I could also do Cotton Candy. I don't know why I'm telling you the names of these because you don't know what they are. <laughs> But I think I'm going to go into the pink, so I'm going to go ahead and take Cotton Candy, which is this shimmery pink shade. And I'm going to put that on like the middle of my lid, but also like layering it above that purple that I just put down and just kind of blend these two in together. Oh, those are layering so beautifully. And I think for the rest of my lid, I'm going to go in with, what was it called? Jawbreaker, which is like a very light kind of yellow shimmer. And I think that should tie it all together. And I mean, so far I'm very impressed by this. I'm not having any problems at all. And then for the rest of my lid where I don't have any shadow yet, I'm gonna dip into Jawbreaker, which is this one. And I'm just going to place that right in here. Oh, that is such a beautiful shimmer. I feel like this would be great as a face highlighter too. I'm also taking this in my inner corner and just gently wrapping it a little bit around down to my lower lash line here. So I am so sorry I ended up with the most basic rainbow look on my eyes today, but it still turned out pretty fun. So I'm going to finish up the rest of my eyes. I'm going to put this liner by LA Girl in my waterline. This one is called Fresh. It's uh, one of their neon eyeliners. It's uh, like a turquoise. So I'm going to put this in my waterline, do some liner and mascara, put on a lipstick, and I will be right back, show you the completed look, and then we can talk a little bit more about the palette. So I'll be right back. 
Alright, so here is the look all done. I think it came out really cute and very summery and very me. This is totally the kind of look that, you know, I do all the time. So not really surprised that I like this. So for my lips, I used my MAC o Sweetie Gloss. This is in the shade Strawberry Tort. I don't think these are available. I will link it if I can find it, but I can't promise anything. But I just thought that kind of like a metallic kind of red lipstick would look good with this look. So as for my first impression thoughts on this palette, I honestly think it's awesome. I mean, you guys could see me while I was applying the shadows. I didn't have any issues at all. Everything blended well. Everything was nice and pigmented. Uh, I don't really have anything to complain about and I'm just so happy about this sleek packaging. I love this so much. It's gonna make it so much more easy when I make all of my 10 looks with this and I have to hold my palette up every time. Yeah, I am really happy with this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like that, I will put some videos up on the screen for you to go check out and if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one.